What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ayo. We are back with another Last Shelter video. Today, we're going to be covering Jackie, the lone roamer. We've had a week to play with her. We've had a week to look at battle reports, data. Eden has begun. Fighting has begun. So we can talk about her. We can talk about the APCs. We can talk about her abilities, the Hopeness Lab, um, and everything that comes with that. So I am a day late on releasing this, and I just want to say this quickly because I was going to release it the day before reset. So in case you were holding on to your tickets, you could know whether or not, you know, I think that she's worth pulling. However, it's still good to know this information, um, no matter where, where you are, if you already pulled, if you didn't. But also the newer states are a week behind, so they are just getting this pool, the pool that we, that the older states previously had right now. So this is their first chance to get be getting jackie so i'm releasing it for those reasons now let's jump into it uh i don't have jackie on this base or we don't have jackie on this base if you missed the fallen raven um pulling video i'm throwing shade a longtime friend and fan has offered the use of his base so we've both been using it um you know for content for videos just to play uh etc so that's why i'm saying we so because we don't have Jackie, um, I'm just going to be using a random hero that would never actually be used in an APC. So if you see, like, I'm going to use Viper because she has blue hair. Viper, just replace her with Jackie. Just pretend, okay? And then the troop types generally don't matter. So basically the only worthwhile APC right now is this. You basically just replace Tuner and you use Jackie. Again, not Viper. Jackie, Cyclone, Nightingale. Um, full vehicles, so I guess I might use troops because she has uh, general attributes. So full vehicles on this, and this is pretty good. Um, this is basically the tuner APC, slightly different. It works a little bit different, so it does do better against certain combos and worse against other combos than the tuner combination. But it's honestly too much work to really, really care about the APC that much where you'd be like swapping tuner and Jackie for, for certain APCs. This might happen later down the line when when APCs are really, really concrete and kind of like the top four APCs are the only ones that people use, then we might see um, this kind of swapping back and forth. But for now, personally, if I had a max base with all the heroes, I would be using Tuner instead of Jackie. It just seems to be working better against at least the current meta APCs, um, or at least more of them. Like I said, the Jackie one does work better on some APCs, in particular, the mirror matchup, or, or not the mirror, but against um, Tuner. But I would still probably go with the Tuner uh, APC. Now, there are some other things that peop that big bases have been using. So, like, Jackie can go fairly well with, like, Beast, Thunderbolt. It might sound a little bit ridiculous, but this does, in fact, work. Um, you load this up full, full fighters, obviously. Um... And that's kind of why it does work is because of Jackie's ability to use any troop type. So this is fine. This is totally fine. Um, you're basically just replacing Hunk in this in this APC. And it works pretty well. Um, again, I might just use Hunk instead. It's the same scenario where in some against some APCs, it's actually going to work better with Jackie. But the vast majority of APCs, it's going to work better with Hunk or even Fallen Raven. So this works because of the fact that right now, the amount of stats that bases have is ridiculous. Twenty, uh, like two thousand might, two thousand resistance is common. That's that's commonplace now. Before it was absolutely un unachievable, and it has changed kind of how you set up heroes and APCs. So really, it's just kind of like everybody's sort of using mixed APCs or just kind of mishmashing heroes and it does still work because of the fact that um like all of these stats are just insane everyone just has crazy mechs and all sorts of stuff you can sort of just put good heroes with other good heroes so like you could put hammer in here and it's gonna be fine um it, it's gonna be you know a very similar effect you could put fallen raven and thunderbolt um you can even do something like this as ridiculous as it seems and it's going to be a decent apc it's not going to be the best APC, and when you're talking about getting, you know, the brand new heroes like this, you're kind of talking about getting the best APCs. So, that's kind of it, though. Right now, that's sort of it. We've seen a huge resurgence in Flash very recently, and 
this is a good great transition i will be releasing a you know best apcs video this week so stay tuned for that that's what that one's going to be you know that's that's going to be big it's going to be important um, I have a max base that I've been using in Eden, fighting a bunch uh, in a very, very strong Eden map. So I have tons and tons and tons of battle reports. I've gotten, you know, people have sent in battle reports all the time. So that'll be a pretty good one. You're going to, you don't want to miss that. Subscribe if you want. I, it doesn't matter. But just check it out when it comes out. So Flash has gone up in, her stock has risen crazy, crazy this last week. So it is, uh, the, the combo I'll just show you for now, a little sneak peek, is this. If you have Azure maxed, um, Flash has just gone like crazy. This is a fully mixed APC, so fighter, vehicle, shooter. Maybe we'll see something like Annie, Flash, um, Jackie. It's, it's very unlikely. It's not going to be very good, but I'm just saying like a scenario like this could occur, right? Where a, another shooter hero comes out, for example next season and you can use like annie jackie and then that new shooter hero not not particularly flash but something like that um i don't i i do see that that, that as a as a potential so if you pull a jackie and you're like hmm, damn i don't really like what you're saying right now Ayo. don't worry she might become meta next she might be like required next season we never really know how these things turn out but right now if I had all the heroes and a max base, I would not be using Jackie in my top five formations, which kind of goes to show what I think of her. She's not, there is no real place for her in, in the top five. Again, I'll be doing a full kind of, you know, top APCs video soon, but that's it. Now, if you don't have all the heroes, Jackie can be a good substitute for some of the heroes. Like I said, if you don't have Tuner or like, you know, he's not fully reconstructed or something, well, first of all, I don't really know what you're doing because you kind of need him for tiles. Jackie's not great for tiles, um, if, if you're curious. Um, so even then, she doesn't replace Tuner. So, yeah, but if for whatever reason your Tuner, like, sucks, um, but you still use him for tiles, that happens. Then maybe you can, you know, replace him with Jackie, and that's going to be fine. It's going to be an upgrade for you. Um, or maybe, you know, you don't have Hammer or something, and you have, like, Beast Thunderbolt, or you don't have Hunk um, because you split him years ago it happens in that case yeah you can put jackie in and, and replace of hunk and it's going to be fine so don't feel bad if you got her um, if you're a max base and you got her you might not have a use for her but you're max base anyway you don't really care um so i i don't feel bad for you at least <laughs> so now let's dive into the hopeness lab for jackie it's pretty simple um it's basically the it's very similar to what Tuner gets in his Hopeness Lab. Um, for, again, he's kind of she's kind of a replacement Tuner. So, the best like setup that I would go for if you just were able to kind of like choose your setup basically um, is I would just go all Group Might. So, Group Might is going to be her number one most important ability, as, especially uh, as her normal ability just pure group might the reason is you she doesn't really do damage herself she doesn't do a ton of damage herself the majority of what she's going to provide is damage for other heroes so like nightingale for example or uh, even thunderbolt in that apc i showed previously or maybe you know flash or a new shooter hero um, that comes out eventually so that's basically her job um she does live in the front row generally speaking um, you're going to be placing her in the front row, which means your flexibility is going to be something that a front row hero uses. So like Endless Trial um, it is good. Fight On, um, Lesson Damage is is fine on her. Uh, it's not the best. It's not what I would use. But Endless Trial, Fight On, um, you could use Temp Prep. That's, that's pretty much always going to be pretty good. Um, on a hero and that's kind of all that I would use um, Now she does do some skill kills But it's very it's not a ton So again, you're kind of just you kind of just want to be you're, you you you're kind of just using your flexibility for for a tank um, There's preemptive strike a lot of heroes are currently using preemptive strike I would probably keep that for like a different hero, but you could uh, you could use preemptive strike there so that's kind of what I would be doing with um, Jackie. Is just full full on group might is honestly like 
just probably what I would do. Um, and then again, your flex can can be anything that a front row hero would use. So like, again, endless trial, fight on, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter that much. And again, I wouldn't prioritize Jackie. So the really good flexibilities um, would probably be going to other heroes first. So you, you kind of might be left with the scraps and that's cool. Now let's talk about some of the other normal abilities because I was just kind of talking about the best that I would get. Group resistance is totally going to be fine. Um, it, it is helpful. It's not the most helpful because again, her role is really to just kill, just right away kill. But you know, you don't always get what, unless you're, you know, huge, you don't always get what you want. So if I got a group resistance, I would probably take it. If I got a group might, I'm definitely taking it right away instantly. If you get a regular might, this is kind of the big question that people always have. If you get a regular might, do you take it or not? It sort of is going to depend on you and how much you are willing to spend or how many polymer crystals you have. If you have a decent amount, I would continue trying to go for group might, especially if it's early on. If you don't have that much and it's like later, maybe it's like your last one or something, you can just take the might and kind of, you know, slowly transition it out. But might's going to be kind of lower on the uh, sort of priority list. Even regular resistance, I would probably be taking regular, re I, not probably, I would take regular resistance over regular might for Jackie. Again, I'm just showing tuner here because I do not have Jackie. So. HP is also going to be a good option, just straight up HP. Um, is basically the same thing as resistance, right? Uh, you just make her tanky, tanky-er, um, and that's never going to be a bad thing. The reason why it's not like the best is because the whole purpose of, of kind of her APCs is just blasting the other, the enemy really quickly and kind of just killing them off. Hopefully you're not getting attacked yourself that much like hopefully it doesn't last eight rounds and you're getting you know you need that hp so that's kind of the, the whole point of the apc so it sort of devalues hp now hp is still really good pure resistance is still going to be really good it's just the specifics of the apc make it a little bit different um, as far as regular damage goes it's kind of the same thing as my it's not really going to be the best but you know, if it's the last thing or something, and you don't have a ton of polymer crystals, you can kind of get away with getting some damage. It's, it's not, it's not good. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, definitely just, just full on group might, um, regular resistance, group resistance. Those are kind of the three that I would go for regular HP. Um, and then kind of group resistance being the last one that I would go for. Um, so that's going to do it for the Jackie video. Uh, unfortunately, she's not very good. The overall rating for her is probably a two out of five, which is pretty low. Um, again, she can be used. She totally can be used. But it's really, it's kind of like if you just don't have the other heroes. Now, again, the seasons do change. The metas do change. Things can happen. Next season in particular, she could be, she might be that hero that you need, and if you don't have her, you're weak. We just don't know. So, if you went and pulled for her and you didn't get Raven, you made the wrong choice, but there's hope. So, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, it made sense. Hopefully, it helped. If you have some crazy, crazy combination with, with Jackie and you think uh, I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, I'm not, I'm oftentimes wrong. So please let me know in the descript, I mean, in the comments. And, uh, I would be glad to share that with the rest of the game. So that's going to do it for me guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned again. The full best APCs, best formations video is coming out this week. So be prepared. I'll catch you guys on the flippy dee dee -dee -dee. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Eat your pizza. Peace.